2023's biggest new MMORPG reveal. I wonder which game that is. Dude, it is early. I was just woken up due to my phone going off with alerts, telling me, hey, Sticks, you know that, Chrono that game, Odyssey. Chrono Odyssey, that you've covered a couple times over the last year or two? Yeah, well, they finally revealed a full in-game trailer. Things have changed, and you have to take a look. So I got up out of bed. I haven't heard about this game before. I don't have any pants on. Admittedly, I rarely do. And Wait, what? Here we are. Now, for those of you that are unaware, Chrono Odyssey was announced a couple years ago, and the form it is now taken is drastically different to the form it was announced in. And what I mean by that is... What's actually up with those kind of MMOs these days? Like, I hear this more often, over and over again. Hey, uh, we are going to release a new MMO. Three years later or four years later, they finally uh, get to alpha phase or something or they start developing. Like what's happening with the gaming industry? Like back in the day, they announced something. One year later, they start like fully working on it. And in two years after the announcements, you, you, announcement, you have like the alpha, sometimes even already the beta phase. And these days it's kind of like if a new MO comes out, you have to announce it four or five years before you even start the uh, alpha phase or something. Like, I don't know, I feel like these days it takes like way longer for some games, especially MMOs, to come out than it did back in the day. Because you hear the news announcement, hey, we're gonna work on a game soon, one or two years later they actually fully start doing it. But nowadays it's, it's insane, like everything takes so long. And it's the same with like Ashes of Creation, and Ashes of Creation is really complex, we had a look at this game and also the Alpha Phase a couple of times. And uh, I understand why they take so long, because they just have so many plans and ideas for the game, that it's not possible to do this in a short uh, time window, right? So it's not possible. But I feel, like, I feel like all those MMOs these days want this, like we want the perfect game, we want this and that. You know what, um, yeah, we're gonna develop this game, but it's gonna take like seven, eight years or something. It's insane. Taken is drastically different to the form it was announced in. And what I mean by that is, this is a game that was announced by the same studio that developed Grand Saga. Grand Saga is a PC mobile cross-platform MMO. Chrono Odyssey was announced years ago as a mobile PC cross-platform oh, MMO no. as well, but over the last couple years, they have overhauled that, removed the mobile cross-play functionality, and nice. instead changed the direction of the, the game PC only and so console. that it is now PC and console cross-platform. There is no mobile functionality this is not releasing on mobile in any capacity. This is a This is very important guys and I tell you why. If you have a game that's like crossplay with mobile uh, phone, like mobile gaming, um, you're gonna restrict, you limit your game's potential a lot because the fact still remains that if you're playing a game on console or PC, you can have a way more complex and bigger game and also when it comes to graphics, a uh, higher demanding game, right? Where you have like more requirements and the game itself is better and of higher quality and more size because if you're playing on mobile games like they have to make it so you can even play it on mobile right not everyone has the newest phone model in the world right like you maybe have a phone that's like two years old already or something and they still want the people to have like a two year old phone to be able to play it on right and then you have like the memory issues then how do you actually control a character and i've noticed something when it comes to mmos in combat on mobile so in wow for example you have like a lot of skills like i have all my numbers on my keyboard full with skills from like one two three four five and then i still have like the ctrl bar the shift bar and everything and i have just so many skills and when you have like mobile uh, MMOs, you have only often in your rotation like five, six skills because you can't change your skills so well because you don't have a freaking keyboard on your phone, right? So you get like fewer abilities and stuff. So I love um, MMOs that are for PC. If they are for console, it's okay because it's way easier to use multiple and more skills on the controller than it is on the phone still. On mobile in any capacity, this is a full quality PC console MMO. And I am incredibly excited for that because 
mobile functionality promises a very certain type of quality. Now, the first trailer True. was released years ago and was very pre-rendered, didn't really show much in terms of the game. However, as of 47 minutes ago, yes, I am really that dedicated to covering MMOs. The official YouTube channel and the PlayStation channel IGN everywhere have covered this game. Before we go any further, I just want to take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons. You guys allow me to continue to play games like this for a living, and I can never truly repay that kindness. Also, if you're interested, I stream over on Twitch every single weekend. You should totally come on over and join me. Okay, so it's a gameplay trailer of Chrono Odyssey. The world looks nice, gives me a lot of the rings feelings, right? Again, this is not their first MMO. Grand Saga actually made headlines and set records in Korea for a cross-platform MMO. Grand Saga ultimately ended up being wow. one of, if not the highest quality, most active, highest grossing Korean cross-platform wow, MMO. The grass. So that should speak volumes about this game. Wow. It uh and admittedly this immediately kind of has a striking resemblance. Is it is it just me or do you guys also feel like that? If, if you look at like um like the MOs made by Korean companies, they want always like especially like the natural environment, like the nature and everything to look so smooth and very, very well. Like look at this. Like I get also a very nice feeling where I look at like BDO, right? And like the world there, but I feel like they really like care about a beautiful game a lot in, in Korea. Like they want their games to be as beautiful as possible when you're exploring and the plans to look quite realistic. And I really love this about uh, Korean gaming companies because they really pay like a lot of atten attention to even small details. Like look at those tiny leaves here. Like out of like, if you look at like Western gaming companies, like sure, they make also stuff look nice, but they won't go uh, as much into detail. Like the only exception so far I've like really seen right now is like the Intrepid Studios with like Ashes of Creation, because they are on a level where it comes to like the world and like the nature and everything uh, with like uh, Korean companies. But yeah, they have like so much love for detail. Like, oh, look at this. Oh. So beautiful. So. That should speak volumes about this game. It, uh, and admittedly, this immediately kind of has a striking resemblance to Arc Age and Black Desert, graphically. Yeah, I get also Black Desert vibes. You know, I get a little bit Dark Souls vibes. Except for the combat. If I'm being entirely honest with you, the combat, the combat looks very eerily similar to Elden Ring. Yeah, like Elden Ring Dark Souls. But can such uh, combat function in an MMO? I don't think you can do that. Like Elden Ring combat sort of in like an MMO. Wow. Those skeletons look cool. I love that skill. Now we have the right. barbarian or something? So the... I mean, we... we still Whoa. don't see a UI, but at the same time, this isn't a mobile game, so it can't be horrible. But the combat itself looks, it looks good, it really does. It doesn't, you know, look- It looks to me more like an action game than an actual MMO. Like, this looks like an action game, right? Like, w what is MMO about? Like, I don't see a single group here, it's always like single player. Combat looks like in Elden Ring or Dark Souls, and yeah, we don't see an U UI. I don't even know how many skills you can use. And that was my concern earlier. Like I said, if you have like something that's like cross-platform, like you already restrict a little bit an MMO when you're going for the console direction, because on a controller, you just have a limited amount of buttons, right? So yeah, you can still have like your eight, nine skills or something that you rotate around, maybe a bit more. Sometimes you have like 10 plus. But if, if you do this on like mobile, you have to even further limit the skills you use in your rotation or in an MMO. So yeah, but I think it's good still that, yeah, it's just console PC. But if it's just PC, usually you have like more options when it comes to skills. Cool game, so it can't be horrible. 
but the combat itself looks it looks good it really does yeah. it doesn't you know look overly flashy wow like uh like trailers tend to make the, the combat look this looks it looks, it looks like a dragon on steroids and impactful like your abilities actually have an impact whoa got the I think the Foxy slower kind of combat style feels good OMG, that's a world boss for sure. <laughs> you know what I love here? We finally see some group play. So, so if you're in a group and you're taking like a world boss down, it will look like this. And that's such a large world boss. That actually feels like a world boss. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like sometimes when I'm playing like WoW and I'm doing like a world boss, the world boss feels like an elite, not like a world boss. But this feels like a true world boss. Like, look at it. It's so huge. <laughs> to be oh. honest. <laughs> the graphics. <laughs> it looks like it's a giant. <laughs> its head looks like a fucking stick, right? Yeah. I thought the same. Oh, that looks cool. What's this? Time traveler one. Oh, freeze time. Oh. Interesting. For a Korean MMO, the character models don't look as... Uh, What is this, a vampire? They don't look as... as I don't know, like, I half expected them to look... Like... I don't know, genre-defining? I'm uh -huh. a big... This, is, this game has has a lot of funding, like, more funding than Black Desert. It has more funding but than Black Desert? I'm actually kind of glad that they don't. That they don't have graphics that are better than Black Desert. I'd rather them focus on the game than the combat. I'm already satisfied with the graphics. Oh, cities look cool too. Chrono Odyssey. Admittedly, that looked actually pretty good. Yeah. Now. This is developed by NPixel. They are the studio behind Grand Saga, as I noted. This looks like it's coming out onto Steam, onto That's the good. PS5 and the Xbox series. Now, navigating on over to their website, it actually doesn't tell us much. It just has a lot of lore Would be guilds? and history about the game, history about oh, some various different factions that are present within the game. Now, there is the, a, a very large focus with regards to Chrono Odyssey on time. How the game supposedly takes place in a multitude of different timelines or that you possess the unique ability to travel through time. I don't know what kind of impact that is ultimately going to have on the game. Nevertheless, but that actually is not good, this concept, to be able as a player to travel through time around, right? Because if you're like an MMO and you're like this one guy that has like superpowers, can like travel through time, it makes you, like, it makes it less feel like an MMO, but more like a single player game, right? Like, I kind of love being an MMO, some random, I don't know, mercenary or gladiator or mage, like maybe a mage student that's just traveling the world, like honing his skills, getting better and better, and over time becoming strong. Then to be someone that is like the chosen one or something, I don't like this kind of uh, feeling where I start like a new MMO and I'm already like the chosen one with like superpowers. I prefer to like go step by step, like climb the ladder to the top basically, right? Kind of like that. And yeah, same because like, like, like immersion and like group play. If you're like a time traveler that's constantly tra traveling time, how do you explain meeting other players somewhere in like on the map? Did they also travel in time? They are just there. Like, what's the explanation? That's kind of confusing from a concept uh, point of view, right? Plus, that does provide us with a very, potentially very large world because it is a world set in different times that could ultimately make the game feel very dead because confusing as i well. mean that is a very grandiose statement to make that is a very i think simple is better for kind of game to create chrono odyssey was originally supposed to come out back in 2022 
I do not see a release date on their website. I did not see a release date in their trailer. I wouldn't expect the game to come out in 2023, but given the activity on their Twitter, the fact that they have a full gameplay trailer released, I would expect some kind of test phase to take place in 2023. Maybe they'll surprise us and release it. I don't know. This is coming out globally, and as you can tell, the gameplay is entirely it's action free combat, play, I hope. which I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be happy with, given the state that Throne and Liberty is in and the kind of reception that Throne and Liberty has had thus far. For those of you that aren't aware, of course, the autoplay, the lack of true action combat, the state of the game right now is an absolute mess. But Chrono Odyssey is not NCSoft. They have a great history releasing games, non-NFT, non-blockchain. So it definitely has potential to possibly be one of 2023 or 2024's biggest surprise hits. Now, if you hmm. want more info on Chrono Odyssey, then stay tuned. I will be continuing to cover this like I do all MMOs. Is it a monthly sub or alternatively, is it free to play? Or I got you it? covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring a list of MMOs releasing this month, the other featuring another MMO that I totally think you should take a look at that you might also be interested in. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm actually wondering if this is going to be for free, like free to play, or is it like with a monthly sub or something? And I'm actually trying to find this out now. Chrono Odyssey. Is it going to be free to play? It doesn't even say that here. Have they not decided yet or what? I see. No, it's not free to play, I think. Ah, okay, that's actually good. Like, I, I hope they, they this is not free to play because otherwise, like, there would be so much pay to win. Like, I, I try these days to avoid MMOs that are free to play. Because what, what they usually do is like, they give you like a piece of cake when, when they give you this game, right? And you, you download and play it for free. And if you want to get to like end game, it is either designed to be insanely slow that you can't keep up with people that actually invest money to progress in this MMO. Like we've seen this with Lost Ark, for example. Or it's at a point where if you do spend money, you make your character not only progress faster, but stronger with something. It could even be as nasty as like maybe they have some some unique items that they're selling or something like that is insane or or like with diablo immortal right where you if you spend like real money and you're doing like like a rift run or something where you get like better drops and if this is also like that omg i'm i'm going like a, a big turn around this game I'm, I'm not playing it then but if it's like one where i have to like pay I'm definitely like considering trying it out because, because I'm always like very suspicious about free to play. I hope it's not. And if it is free to play, that at least they somehow find a way to mostly have their monetization be about mounts and cosmetics. Because I don't think having some cool looking outfits or mounts that you can buy with real money is going to harm a game or, or your experience and fun in it. But being like locked behind super slow progress versus if you actually spend money you get somewhere super fast or better items that's pay to win for me but yeah let's see how it's, it's going to be chrono odyssey i like the graphics combat looks interesting my only concern now is like how is group play going to feel like because from what i've seen it looks like an action game and how do you make group group play interesting in action games because what I love in MMOs is if you have like a group and everyone has a role, like one is a tank, one is a healer. Perhaps there are different kind of healers, those that have like those timed burst heals, while others have like heals over times they need to keep up on everyone, where there's like maybe a healer that's not mainly focusing on healing, but like some side healing, but actually the main focus is to put shields on everyone so their health doesn't drop or something, some sort of support DPS kind of class. Like, I wonder how group A will be in, in Chrono Odyssey. I'm very curious about it, but let's see. But yeah, what do you guys think about this game? Do you, do you like the way this game looks and what you just heard and saw? Are you excited for it? Like, let me know in the comment section. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.